Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Bill Powers. I'm the president of the University of Texas at Austin. And again, let me thank all of you for being here, especially on such short notice. This is a really great day for Texas. It's a great day for higher education nationwide. And it is an especially great day for the University of Texas. Uh, with the Fifth Circuit's uh, ruling today, uh, the University of Texas will be able to continue to use race as one of many factors, one of many factors in a holistic review in order to shape a diverse student body. Uh, one of our core arguments all along has been the educational value of diversity to all of our students, regardless of their background. And we continue to believe deeply in that fact. And I'm gratified the court has agreed with us. As a teacher, as president of this university, uh, I know the value of diversity of all kinds. And our state and our nation won't advance unless we're training leaders in all parts of our society. I'm especially gratified uh, with the court's opinion. It is very thorough. Uh, it has extensive reference and analysis of the facts of the case and of the record. Uh, it applied strict scrutiny uh, to our program, and it followed the guidance, of course, of the Supreme Court in the Fisher case. Uh, and very gratified that it upheld the constitutionality of our admissions process. I'd like to thank many of our supporters in this effort. It's been a long and arduous process. Let me thank our legal team here in Austin and in Washington. Uh, I want to thank our alumni and business leaders, uh, minority leaders, educational leaders from across the country who have all filed amicus briefs on our behalf. I want to thank our faculty and our staff for the work they do every day to advance this great university's mission. And most of all, I want to thank our students for being the best in the country and for making the University of Texas at Austin the very special place that it is. So with that, I'd be happy to take uh, a few questions. Yes, sir. Well, they uh, can appeal if that's what they want to do, and we'll, of course, respond to that. I don't. It's substantial. This has been major litigation over a long, long period of time. Tens of thousands, more oh, I, I don't know if more than a million. Certainly tens of thousands. Very substantial. I just don't have that figure right in front of me. Can you just briefly talk a little bit about why it's important to include race in the admissions process? Well, as you know, 75% uh, of our class is automatically admitted. Uh, in the 25% that's admitted holistically, uh, we look for a variety of factors, uh, and ethnic diversity is one of those factors. It's important because all of our students, uh, regardless of their ethnicity or race, are going to be out uh, in a very diverse world, uh, both globally and within the United States, uh, and working across uh, lines of uh, income, lines of ethnicity, lines of political and religious views. Uh, it is important that they have an environment on the campus where they're learning uh, to work across those, uh, across those lines. So it's, it is very important educationally that we have a diverse student body, diverse in many ways, uh, but including diverse uh, ethnically. I think it extends the message that we do believe in diversity. We believe it's important for their education. Uh, again, whatever their particular background is, um, I think it extends that uh, we think this is the right approach. We've followed uh, the Grutter opinion uh, scrupulously, uh, uh, as, as it is our obligation to do, of course. Uh, but I, I believe it's, it, sense to our students that if we believe in something, we're going to work for it. And uh, the mere fact that it gets challenged, uh, we're going we're gonna to argue and work for the things we believe in. We've got time for one more question, and then Dr. Benson and the students are going to are you, are, you, are you hopeful that this will turn into any more potential challenges going forward, or whether we might be seeing more diversity among the class? 
you know, it's not for me to uh, opine on what others in the country ought to do to, do to uh, pursue what they think are their interests or their positions. But I think this uh, should send a, uh, a clear conclusion that, uh, that, as all along, we have followed the constitutional mandates of Grutter, and I hope uh, th that issue is resolved. Okay. Well, thank you again for being here, and uh, I know on short notice, but uh, as I said, this is a great day for our state and for our university and for higher education across the country. Thank you.